Okay, here we're going to remove the A-side motor. Um, we assume if you're watching this video, you've already been to some training, so you're going to have to get the covers off, so we're just going to start from here. First thing, we're going to disconnect a few connectors from the for the motor. And this actually makes life easier to pull that off as well. When we take this connector off, make sure we pull this orange ribbon cable behind it so we don't tear this ribbon cable when we're trying to take this one off. Then we're going to take this off. Do that by removing this C clip right here. Careful not to lose it. Then we're going to work this belt off by lifting it up and just turning the gear until we slide it all the way off. Then with a then with a larger flathead screwdriver, I'm going to pry this gear off the end. And these three screws here, we're going to remove them. Now finally, the last thing you will have to do to get the motor out, because you, it's very difficult to actually get it pulled out of here with this board here. You don't have to remove everything from the board, but you do want to um, take the screws out of the board that are holding the board in place. Then what that allows us to do, we can actually pull the board out and drop it a little bit, just enough to allow us to get the motor out. And there you have it. Now we're going to put the motor back in and basically reverse everything we've just done. So first things first get the motor slid all the way back in just let it sit there then we attach our board Let's reconnect our wires. I'm going to pull this cable back so we don't pinch it. And we'll put the gear back on. Make sure we push it all the way down. Reattach our C clip. And finally put our belt back on. And there you go.